You want to get more leads into your business, but you need to ensure that they're high quality. And LinkedIn ads seem to have insane potential, but you don't want to waste years of trial and error trying to figure it all out. The problem is, where the hell do you start? Well, LinkedIn ads are actually simpler than you think. Over the last four years, we've generated over a quarter of a million inbound leads with ads, with millions in ad spend on LinkedIn and over a hundred clients managed. And in this video, I'm gonna cover everything we've learned, giving you a simple step-by-step -step setup guide. Then I'll explain the three main factors that make your ads actually convert. I'll also show you the best practices for targeting your ideal audience on LinkedIn so that you can guarantee higher quality leads. And finally, I'll show you the features that LinkedIn auto automatically turns on, but you must turn off, otherwise your campaign won't convert and you'll have absolutely no idea why. And just so you know who I am, my name's John. I'm the founder of a company called MinMax Media. It's my mission to create the most simple, efficient, and effective client acquisition system possible, something I've dubbed the Controlled Growth Framework, and to help you by either teaching you that system or implementing it for you. If you want that help, there's a link in the description. So why is LinkedIn so powerful? Well, I look back at our own internal ad stats for the last year. Now we run ads on LinkedIn and on Facebook, and I found that our cost per lead on LinkedIn was three times higher than our initial cost per lead on Facebook. So at first glance on paper, not good. But digging a little bit deeper, the overall cost per acquisition, again, was actually lower on LinkedIn. And the reason was that, yeah, the leads on LinkedIn were more expensive Expensive, but they are also way more qualified. By simply putting yourself on LinkedIn as a user, you're pre-qualifying yourself as a professional. And that quality of lead significantly impacted our schedule rates, our show rates, and our close rates. So how do you set up a campaign that's gonna get these results for your company? Well, good news, I'm gonna show you right now. So let's set up a campaign in LinkedIn. Now the LinkedIn Ads Manager is structured into campaign groups, campaigns and ads. Campaign groups help you organize your account. You can also set objectives and budgets at this level, which can work situationally, but we tend to manage these at the campaign level. At the campaign level, you can also set objectives and budgets, but with slightly more control. This is also where you define your target audience and select the ad formats that you want to use. If you're just starting, the best objective to use is lead generation. The others can situationally work. Um, I cover when and how to use those in our ultimate LinkedIn ads guide. Now, in terms of ad formats, if you're starting out, always go with single image to a cold audience. We find in 90% of cases, it will be your top performing creative type. Now, we'll return here shortly when I show you how to set up those those audiences and also cover those settings that LinkedIn sneakily turns on that you must turn off. So setting up your campaign properly is your first step to success. But if your ads suck, you're literally going to be throwing away money, even if everything else is perfect. So let's have a look at the ad level. Now this is where we upload the creatives and copy that your target audience will see in their feed. Now here's five things we found that lead to ads that actually convert. So imagine you're scrolling through your feed. It is littered with the same old boring corporate drab posts. On top of that, everything is just washed with blue because it's a corporate platform and blue's a corporate color and it's all really professional and everyone lacks any originality. So the first thing you wanna do is avoid ads that look corporate. So humor, memes, off-brand, tongue-in-cheek, flashy, all work well. Boring ads, however, are sh ads. And if you're thinking, oh, we're different, those rules don't apply to us, trust me, they do. Send me an email, we'll put on a bet and I can take some of your money. Secondly, if possible, avoid the color blue. Your ads work well if they stand out. So using the same color palette as everyone else, well, third point is to use the ad format one by one or 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels. This square format takes up slightly more space in the feed. Fourth point is to use this body copy template. It is consistently our top performer. You are welcome. Fifth point is to use this headline copy template right here. Again, consistent top performer and the emojis help your ads stand out. Also, I just realized I was only going to give you three points, but I've given you five. And here's a bonus because I think it was zesty because you're still watching this. So here's a really simple template you can use for your ad creative. Now all this ad stuff's really going to help you, but if your audience isn't set up properly, then you're going to be sending your ads to interns instead of CEOs. By the way, this is insanely common and I see it all the time when I run ad account audits for people who've tried to set up ads without any sort of guidance. So if you do want guidance to get it right first time, there's a link below. But for now, let's run straight through how to set up your audience properly. So LinkedIn's superpower is its targeting. So let's say we want to reach out to HR leaders on LinkedIn. Now when setting up our audiences, we want to use three structures. 
One targets your audience based on their job title. The next by their job function and seniority. As a side note, you should use and in that situation and not or. And finally, we have an audience that throws in a wild card specific to your exact situation. So for example, job function and seniority mixed with a company growth rate of 5% a year. And I know what you're already thinking. I know exactly who I need to target, so I'll just use the job title thing. Well, job titles on LinkedIn are actually a free text field, but the option Options that you can select within the LinkedIn Ads Manager aren't, which means you can limit yourself by going down this route. Also, you need to test all these three options. I guarantee one will result in better performance than the other two, but you need to test. If you don't, you are simply gambling. So practically, we'd have our campaign group and then we'd have three campaigns, each targeting those HR leaders in a very slightly different way. And then in each campaign, we'd have a minimum of five different ad variations duplicated across the three campaigns. This gives you a solid framework to test, collect data, and find out what works best for your exact situation. Now at the start, I mentioned that LinkedIn is colluding against you to set you up for failure with some default settings. But what are they and why are they so dangerous? Well, a few years ago, I launched a campaign and my performance in the Ads Manager looked amazing but no one was actually converting. So I dug a little deeper and I realized that I'd accidentally left one of these settings on, which was ripping through my budget. It was the LinkedIn audience network. Now this puts your ads on third party websites, which make your metrics in the ads manager look absolutely incredible. But the quality of that traffic is awful. In fact, most of it is actually bot traffic. So firstly, we want to ensure that the LinkedIn audience network is switched off. Luckily for some objective types, this is already automatically turned off. Also, LinkedIn suggests you use audience expansion. Again, this is a way for LinkedIn to boost vanity metrics within the ads manager. It puts your ads in front of people that you haven't specified, which completely negates the power of LinkedIn's targeting and leads to unqualified leads. So make sure you always turn both of those off. So with all this set up, you're pretty much ready to go. But another valuable lesson that I've learned with all these years of experience is that the ads aren't the biggest factor in success. What matters far more is your offer and your overall system for client acquisition. Thankfully, in this video here, I cover the end-to-end -end framework that we use, which will set you up with the most efficient and effective system for client acquisition.